your GM's fetishes. We told you we'd be back with some Kimmer stuff. We're back with the Kimmer stuff. video of the week, boys. (laughs) (laughs) I'll start. The amount of detail she puts into female noble NPCs compared to their male counterparts leads me to believe she's a lesbian. Uh, I doubt uh, that. No. No, I don't I don't think so. I, I don't think that is. Like, okay, okay. My, the comment my... underneath that, she could just be a narcissist like most women. <laughs> it could be self-inserting. Yeah. Well, no, I don't I don't no. I don't think so. So I'll, I'll I'll use the examples that I know of. So yeah, Garbo you're getting called out, but This uh, video is gonna be Garbo getting yeah. called out. So uh yeah, when it comes to Garbo, I would say, yeah. Definitely Amazonian type. Strong. Strong. S- Oni as well. Yeah, so big you get stonk women. Stonk women. Um, remember, big remember, ass hips and teeny little was waist. It, was, was it drunk that had the big milker's wifey? Was it drunk? He, I can't remember. I, I can't remember. No, it was auspicious, that wasn't it? Yeah, because he was because he had all the cows and then he ended up having the cow oh, yeah. wifey and the yes. skeleton party. Yes. And then uh, Taylor, you're getting cold out here as well, CR. So uh, I remember this was a while back. This would have been a few months back, and we were doing like a camera video, and everyone like in the comments of this thread that we were doing, it just doubled down to think like it looks like a lot of people just want to get fucked by a minotaur. You know, yeah. it's, it seemed like it seemed to be such a big fetish, <laughs> and it seemed to be such a big thing. It's like why is this a thing? What's going on? So uh, Tail thought it would be funny to have a minotaur themed dungeon. Oh. The, the week after and he's like oh yeah I thought you'd like this James I'm like is this what you think of me <laughs> <laughs> is this what you think of me <laughs> but yeah I think we'll leave it for now let's get into this thread will we my DM really has a thing for slaves and slavery not like us players ending up as slaves but definitely for the villains always having slave servants and harem girls in shackles and always having fresh captures on display for sale and such I think he crutches on it as it's an easy way to make us hate his villains. I mean, it is a good way of making the villain seem more evil by adding that level mm. of... Maybe he's not into slaves and slavery. Maybe he's just into bondage. Yeah, that could actually and be. And the whole dominance thing. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. It's really hard to say because, again, like a lot of this stuff is more speculations. Like, hmm... My DM seems to really enjoy this thing, you know, <laughs> and it, I can I can see people using that as a clutch, though, for just an excuse of, oh, yeah, um, let's add an evil factor to them. Yeah, slavery, it's an easy one. Yeah. Most people can agree slavery's not good, so, you know. First GM, very big into big-titted women with demure and innocent outlook. That were also chain raped at the age of twelve. Oh, for God's sake! Okay, like okay, like okay. The guy, the guy, like big fat teddies. And could take on a horde single handed. <laughs> Fellow PCs. Why does it like? Why does it have to like I fucking don't, I don't just know. go so hard? It's like okay, like the NPC's got big fat teddies. Everyone agree. Yeah, okay. Fat teddies are cool. Yeah, <laughs> give everyone a thumbs up. Why you gotta go that extra mile? <laughs> why are you doing this? <laughs> Fellow PCs, female character got raped three times in a row over three in-game days in a single session. You're also not allowed to harm his pretty NPCs, even if they attack you. Non-verbally agreed to never let said GM run anything again. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty... Yeah, yeah, I mean, mean, like... Under-fucking-standably. If I be be straight up, it is one of those golden goals I think anyone can apply for. Don't rape my character. Don't rape... Please, just don't don't put anything inside uh, me. (laughs) You know, the thing is, I do feel like sometimes if you're in a group that feel like you want to explore maybe some, <laughs> make it part of the story, like Ugly Popman, yeah. to maybe build tension, tension and, and anger or whatever or, else. You know what I mean? To try and build up that drama. Don't if you go do it for, for a se- Don't do it for Kims. Yeah, if, you, if you're doing like a serious thing, but I think 99% of the time it just falls flat yeah. and just... 99% of the time it doesn't work all the time yeah <laughs> 99% of the time it never works at all second GM kept inserting childlike NPCs in game for party to adopt no the only the only the only thing PCs can adopt are goblins yeah that's right? it gets party into sticks situations reminiscent of remade three men and a baby <laughs> All an elaborate ruse to hide his very obvious muscle woman and Legend of Zelda fetish. Uh, okay. Okay. Third GM. Very much into anime guys. Average breast women trope in anime. Where you're not busty enough for big tits, but also not flat enough to be considered flat. Is also average breast woman. Runs one shot. Is pretty cool. 
I mean, I'm going to give this guy a thumbs down for not having big fat titties. (laughs) (laughs) Fourth GM. Indy Yvonne Starkovsky. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go with that. We don't talk about it. I I don't want to know. I don't want to know if it's that bad. Fifth GM. Plays either idiot savant, dumb but good-natured or extremely cunning PCs. Very into punk and goth girls from games they've GM'd. Who isn't? Like, 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 actually, like, isn't. like I, I'm sorry to say, but big titty golf girl fans just don't exist anymore. They're they're just not you a real thing. You literally have one right here. Yeah, but you you went out of here, like you know. Have I though? Is it more of a crawling <laughs> in my skin? Is it, is it not more of a mindset, I suppose, <laughs> than a fashion choice? Doesn't bring it up. Would be subtle, but there's definitely an over representation of aesthetic hair dyes and side cuts, even among the aliens. Especially among the aliens. (laughs) (laughs) Not a DM, but pretty sure one of our players has a vor fetish. She has, on multiple occasions, intimidated small NPCs by threatening to reduce and eat them. I mean... Is she playing like a What's she playing savage? though? You, you need to tell us what she's playing. Yeah. Like if she's playing a bard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like, you know, if you're, it depends on what, like, okay, if you're going to be like something Anybody like savage. Anybody who plays bard anyway has a fetish. I yeah. don't know what it is. I don't, I don't want to know what it is. Yeah. But you all got a fetish. You've got, you, like, you definitely got something, something going on. It's a shame I like bards, but I've never got the chance to actually play as one. <laughs> what? I'm just imagining how you would play a bard. <laughs> like, I'd have a lot of fun, all right? I'd make the most of it. I would, you know what? Okay, <laughs> if I was to it, if I was to be a bard, my musical instrument would either be a digitally do or, or a triangle. <laughs> a triangle or bagpipes. I think bagpipes would be fun. Yeah. You know, a tin I, whistle. <laughs> <laughs> get your tin whistles out, boys. Hey, guys. So, are you looking to spice up your game night? Do you need some orcs to raid your camp? Do you need some illithids to suck out your brains? Do you need some undead to rise from the graves? What about a dragon to slap down in the table and fuck up your players with? Or, if you prefer a frost giant or a manticore, we got him. It's a lot more fun than dropping rocks in your players' heads. Or, maybe you just want short stacks. Because we know you love them. <laughs> we have such an expansive range of fantasy options... And we're currently trying to expand into not 40k. (laughs) Also, if models isn't your thing, go check out our subclasses. There's loads of stuff there that you might find interesting. But go ahead and check it out. Links are all down below. And let's get back into the video. The GM for one of my groups is always including her magical realm. But it's all stuff that's pretty suitable for fantasy campaign. Chained and tortured princesses, tomboy barbarians chained and tortured tomboy barbarians so it's never caused a problem would easily slip under the radar if i didn't know that's what she's into oh the dm for our (laughs) other campaign has yet to include any fetishes that i recognize but he's not an autistic kimmer i mean like you know that's like all you gotta ask for as long as your dm is not an autistic kimmer you're (laughs) pretty much safe exactly i mean like at this point who isn't into tomboys yeah like i i I, I, everyone's into tomboys yeah like (laughs) The thing is, I don't really see the whole tomboy barbarian as anything like that. I consider it more of a troop at this point. Yeah, because I do. I consider barbarians to as be tomboys. like that. You know, I mean, to expect them any other way is just counter to what, what they, they stand. What yeah, they, they represent. represent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? But I'm the GM. Ooh, do do do. CBT fetish, which. <laughs> I'm guessing is cock and ball torture. Like, see anyone that says, oh yeah, like, I, I knew a fellow, I knew a fellow, like, IRL. We actually played a few D&D games together and all, and I remember him actually turning around and saying to me, like, I remember we were talking or, yeah. around all this shit, we were talking about all this type of mad shit, yeah. and he's like, I, I like it, see that cock and ball torture, I, I'd give I that a go. go. Would you? Would, would you? Would, would, would you? Would you? I? Would you? Would you be interested? <laughs> would you? I? Oh, no, no. I, I, I refuse to believe anyone is actually into that. I think it's just an internet meme that <laughs> yes. uh, uh, that spirals out of control at this yeah. point. So CBT fetish. Be careful to never let it slip into my game. No enemy ever goes for the groin, etc. Only did so once when an allied female NPC tortured a vampire, and nothing I did even raised an eyebrow. So I let her castrate the vamp, and that finally shocked my players. 
Wait, do you jack off to the idea of getting caught? No, uh, no, that's okay. not even fun. No, that's that's no. The, the other guys that were GMs at some point, GM one, we're all pretty sure has a fetus for fura lady boys passing transsexuals because we stumbled onto his porn folder once. What is it with fellas with passable? I don't know transsexuals. It is a big thing. It is a big thing. Sure, like, like but you always the people who are into the passable ones are always the ones that are the biggest against transsexuals. Yeah. I'm, te- I'm telling you right now. I, 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 I've yet, anybody I, I've met I, saying again, oh, I'd fuck a trap, but like, I've, no I, thanks. I've, I've yet to meet a genuine 100% Nazi. And they're always, isn't, they're that, always that Nazis. No, that, I have yet to meet a genuine actual Nazi that, that isn't, isn't into, into fucking traps. And isn't like hyper into it. Yeah. You know? I, they're, why is that a thing? <laughs> it's, it's actually way more common than what I ever expected to, you know? Why is that a thing? I don't, I, I, <laughs> I don't know, right. Megan. I actually have no idea. Actually, you know, same guy who was in the cock and ball torture was in the fucking traps. And he was a little Nazi. I'll be sure, like, he actually is. Yeah. Like, there's no denying. Yeah. Um, like... <laughs> Look, look, let's just keep going. Let's, this is a question far well, beyond. Well, he the wasn't Nazi. He LARPed half the time. Yeah, it was a mix of LARPing, but he definitely LARPed because it, it, uh, he wanted to be a cunt girl. Just saying. Look, look. Well, we might tell a story about this we, fella look, at this different fella, time. This fella. Look, we're getting really sidetracked here. We He's may gonna show up at, his, <laughs> at our door. We know him IRL. We don't talk to him anymore <laughs> for for obvious reasons. Yeah, look. Well, we might talk about this guy at different time. But uh, that's far beyond the sp- scope of this video, so let's just keep okay. going. Okay. Okay. Regularly plays sneaky rogues. Somehow, always ends up in a situation where he has to dress as a woman <laughs> to talk his way into a castle or villa. I mean, just uh, take a look at the warlock, face many, yeah. f- face many faces. You yeah. know. Never really brings up his fetish as GM. Seems more like he tries to guess other people's fetishes and deliver on that so that they like his GM style. Wait, is this like a thing? Do I people, don't know. Like, you know, do, do people, people play, play on people's fetishes? Do people, like, oh, I wonder what he's into. wonder what they're into. Yeah, let's put that. I've never, go, I've, 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 oh, I've never actually, know. like, do you reckon, like, there's a level of mind game trickery involved? I've never actually, I hope I've never. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck, actually, I did say the tail, but getting, <laughs> and he did put in them, um, getting leaked by my authority, so. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Only time I've ever witnessed the party commit rape when he jammed. Our only female GM. From her PCs, I'm guessing she's really just has a fetish for slutting it up. Regularly plays characters that are outside of normal society, like elves, witches, etc., and immediately takes every halfway good-looking man to bone town. <laughs> Going to bones. <laughs> <laughs> As the GM seems to do a 180. All NPCs we encounter are dur no nonsense types that maybe have had sex once a decade ago for the sole purpose of procreation, and now they're done with that silly nonsense. <laughs> okay. Sexual activities? No! <laughs> Finally, the guy who's been the GM for the longest, besides me. Sort of an enigma to me. If I had to guess, he's in the muscle woman because most female NPCs that come with a detailed description are warrior women. I mean, he doesn't to a certain extent. It is aesthetic. <laughs> aesthetic. I, I think he really wants to start a family. His last girlfriends all left him when it got too serious. And every PC he plays tries to find a wife and have kids. Aww. And he gets super pissed off when you drag them into the plot. Oh, oh my god. Give the guy a wife. State mandated girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, state mandated girlfriend. <laughs> oh man, that's sad. Oh, I didn't expect to get a feels in a cooper oh, fan. Oh fuck. Why is it like this? <laughs> you can't mix my emotions like this. I try not to look too much into it and just enjoy the game, but it's pretty obvious our GM's attachment to latex-like materials and damsels in distress goes beyond troops. I can't recall a session when we wouldn't find a woman hooked up on some tubes in crazy science lair or brainwashed spies. It's also possible that one of the players shares that affinity and plays exactly the type of character that volunteers to bait the villains and always ends in perilous situations. Also, when I was 12, friend's older sister ran Dungeon and Dragons game for us and there were traps that turned my character into a cat boy. <laughs> and then the NPCs spent unhealthy amount of time trying to interact with my character like he was a cat. 
I always thought she just liked animals, but TG made me <laughs> suspicious she might have some weird furry fetish. But I don't know if this is a thing. No, obviously, see when you're 12. No, see when, no. Older sister. Older, no, I don't buy it. No, I don't think so. I want to believe Megan. I I don't want to assume the worst and have one all the time. <laughs> okay, okay. Look, 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 Hocus Pocus was cool. He didn't like, what was your... Hocus Pocus? Yeah, Hocus Pocus. Remember the talking cat, the boy that turns into the oh, cat? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what Zachary I... Zachary Banks. Yeah, that's what I would think of. Like, yeah. you know... If, well, we don't know how long ago this was, yeah. you know, so that's a little issue. Yeah. Like, you know, if this was... Could have been, like, two weeks ago. For I mean, fucking know. If, the, if this was, like, whenever we were 12, then, yeah, I think that would have been... Yeah. What I would have... Yeah. Thought. I don't know. Like, fuck. <laughs> maybe I'm just... <laughs> trying, maybe, 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 yeah. Why do I do this? First character in my last campaign got it on with a shopkeeper who was constantly going into heat. <laughs> they got okay, my, okay. What? What, what, what were they going into heat? Like, are, 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 I'm going to assume they're cat. I'm going to... Uh, something like that. They're an animal of some yeah. sort. They got married, had eggs together. Okay, well, skilly and it, them. Yeah. And it turns out being close to laying eggs also puts Dragonborn in that setting into heat. Just so much going into heat. Also, random claw marks on the counter from when the shop was briefly closed for lunch breaks. It was a small village with thin walls, <laughs> and apparently she was loud. Being loud was a trend, as other players also ended up married to an NPC, this time the guard captain. They rolled for how good he was, and he got a natural 20, so of course shenanigans were afoot. It was established that sometimes my PC and her PC, and the lesbian drag blacksmiths had competitions for who was the lightest. My other PC, a male human ranger, was impregnated by a mind flare. <laughs> Allegedly, it was a random dice roll for who would be targeted, and I happened to come up. But every time I tell the story on 4chan, everyone screams impreg fetish, so who knows? <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, to be fair, okay, 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 I, I don't think mind flares do you have that impregnation fetish because they are heavily based on like you know alien with the whole like chest parts that's what i think of yeah. and especially like the tadpole going into the eye that's just how they yeah you know what i mean i i don't i don't really see it i, th I can see the overlays of it but i yeah. feel like it was just copied from alien and of course you know look you get what i'm trying to say yeah so yeah um I... blacksmiths love a good decking and uh lunch and love being lied yep that's a thing whatever you're into i just hope you didn't have to start sitting there and start like screaming and be like oh yeah like let's let's oh, let's, you have to sit at the table like when what was it when harry met sally like that yeah movie where yeah she was in they were in like the diner and she started going ah, ah! <laughs> I, I i hope i hope it was at a game store oh fuck i hope yeah. this i hope this was IRL. or i hope it was store. like online and your mother was standing at the behind the door oh going, no what have i done <laughs> what have i produced <laughs> The face when banned my fetish in the setting because my own fetish makes me uncomfortable and I wanted to keep myself in check. Probably the best way to go about it. Probably. And it also makes me wonder what your fetish is if it makes you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, I suppose that's the difference between most cameras. A lot of cameras, I think that's the little core of all these is people being lapped into situations that they clearly don't want to be lapped into. Yeah. You know, like, of course, like, you know, I think Golden Will, please don't leave. Really PCs. Yeah. It's just really doesn't work well. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know. Had the goddess who banned that type of magic shares my exact reasoning since she originated as a catalyst for that fetish when I was younger. I never mentioned it, but it's banned in cases, in case anyone tries it. Hmm. No, okay, so what is the fetish? What is the fetish? Oh, he answers back. Oh, he, he answers back. back. Let's, let's get into this. Look, look, look. Shrinking growth. I've never heard of this. Shall we Google it? No. Guys, give no. us one second. Oh, so it's so it's pretty much honey I shrunk the kids. It's like fucking the borrowers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, something like that. It's um I suppose it's I don't know. Uh, I didn't know that was a thing. I don't know. Like I think we're gonna just end it here, will we? Yeah, I, I, I think that's enough for one day. I feel like I tried to reason with enough. I I really tried to be like, well, maybe they're not. I feel like I, I give a lot more people leeway than what I normally am like. Normally yeah. I'm like, Kummer, filth, degenerate, you know what I mean? I feel like yeah. I, I feel But what like, about you guys? 
Let us know down below. Has your DM <laughs> ever, ever given you a reason to think that they have a fetish? What, what are you guys up to? I, I see what you're doing there. I see that. You don't don't you try and <laughs> hide like that from me. We all see you. Yeah. <laughs> but as always, check out the links, check out the models, all the subclasses, the t-shirts, all that good shit. Hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>